Hey everyone, Major Frenchy from MaymanTheBox.com. Welcome everyone. Today we're looking at a virtual pinball major league player, something that will add effects to your pinball FX3, to your future pinball, and we're looking at a software called DOF Links. Stay tuned. <laughs> First thing first, we're going to download the software. Uh, you can find it at many places. We have it on our site because we just make it convenient for you guys to, instead of looking everywhere. Um, but it is uh, typically hosted on VP forums. The latest version is 681 Alpha. We will upload uh, the new version. Uh, when you see this video, that version will be on our site. DDH69, who is the creator of Duff Links, um, has a really good tutorial, a, a walkthrough on VP Forms. We're going to have a link in the description below. And um, we're going to follow these steps. Now, what is DOF Links? It is basically, uh, remember DOF, if you haven't looked at our DOF video, um, you will actually need DOF install and, and it needs to work uh, before you actually install DOF Links. So DOF Links is basically an add-on for future pinball tables and pinball FX3. So that's the, 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 the reason we're using this. So uh, we downloaded that file. Uh, we are going to extract it in the direct output folder. The directions here is if you wish to auto-launch DOF links when Windows is starting. Now we're going to go into the direct output folder, right click on DOF links, click on compatibility, and set that to run as administrator. In the, the direct output in the sample, sample INI folder, you're going to see some sample um, depending on what you wish to add. Um, you've got, uh, actually Terry Red made a few one that says almost everything and that's the one we are going to use. Uh, we're going to copy and then we're going we're gonna to change the name to doflinks.ini. We're going to copy that file and then we're going to put it in the apparent directory just above. So we're going to go back and this is where we're going to put it. We're going to right click on that file and edit with Notepad++. If you don't have Notepad++, uh, download it's a free software, very handy to edit files like this. So let's just start looking at the file, what all that means. That INI file is basically telling the UF links everything. So this file is crucial. Now we're going to look at the, the path here. It's important that the path in the file match the one on your table. If they don't, you can change the script or you can change the name of the file on your system. So it's up to you. Uh, so we see we just found it. It's right where it said it was. The next one, it's the um, actually the B2S server, which is the path for our visual pinball folder. So typically this is where it is by default. Um, but if you pick a, a different location, you're going to have to update that location in, in this script. Okay. So what we're going to do, we're just going to open the tables folder and then we're going to copy the, um, the link, the, like the path, and then we're just going to paste that in the uh, script just to make sure that we have all the, uh, you know, if, if it's a capital letter or something, it matters. So uh, we're going to do, uh, we're just going to replace that path right here. Okay. Next is the uh, path of your global config underscore B2S server dot XML file. Um, again, if you don't know what that is, uh, watch or DOF video. Um, you will understand after you've watched this. The next one is the path for FX3. 
If you've just extracted the files found within the zip of this installation, uh, you won't have to change anything. It's just the way it is. Uh, same thing for this. Uh, that's the F actually FX3. This one you will have to add. This is the back class for FX3. Uh, we're going to have a special episode for this um, to uh, inform you guys how to set that up. Um, but for the time being, uh, you can just create a folder that's going to be called FX3 underscore B2S, all capital. Here, the next one is the under cab lighting. So if you have uh, set up under cab lights, we just haven't done it yet. Uh, we will, and then we can have a video about this. But for the time being, what we do is we add a hashtag um, in front of it to comment that line out. So it tells the software this is kind of disabled. So you don't delete it. All you do is you add a, the hashtag in front of it. So now we're starting to set up our devices. Um, if you're wondering what that is, uh, there's actually a link or like in the description below, again, to the walkthrough. It is explained in here. So LF is left flipper, RF, right flipper, uh, LS is the left slingshot and so on. So this is for your reference. We have two devices. We have two LED whiz that we use as, as you saw in our previous videos. So write a list for yours because, and then mark the, the ports. That's important, otherwise it's not gonna work and then you're not gonna remember. So we have ours mapped out here. So we're gonna use uh, our, the, the LED uh, whiz that we use for the left flipper, the right flipper, and the slingshot and so on. There are contactors, it's using the second LED whiz. So that's why we put two. So it's basically the second device, Zero one after is the port one. So device two, port one, diverse, device two, port two, and so on. So we're just going to fill that in. Next is the, um, for the shaker, gear motor, knocker, beacon, and strobe. Um, again, it's, it's all in our mapping, right? We're using uh, our second LED whiz for these devices, and we're just gonna fill that in. Whatever we don't have, uh, for example, we don't have a beacon on this specific pinball cabinet, we're just gonna put a hashtag in front of that to comment it out. The next section are for buttons. Um, we're gonna comment it out because we don't feel like setting it up. Uh, it is basically to add the uh, flashing of the credit and so on. The next part is for the uh, five LED RGB flash bar. Um, we have one, uh, as you probably saw in our previous video, and we're gonna have an upcoming video on how to build your own. Just stay tuned for that. But basically what it is, is there are five of them, and each of them use three ports for the red, green, and blue. So um, we got a total of 15 ports. Uh, what it wants here is the, the basically the port for the red for each one of them. So find which port you're using for your red, and uh, just put them in. Next is the left and right flipper. Uh, these are the keyboard keys. A0, A1 correspond to the left and right shift. So uh, feel free to change it, but we're always leaving that uh, like the default. Um, and then below is your output for your left and right flipper. So if you have a solenoid or a contactor, see for us on the right, uh, it's the second device, port one and two. 
what else do we have here? Uh, we have these are the different processes that will trigger DOF links to start. So you know when you hit Control Alt Delete and you look at the pro like the program, um, it shows you what the name of the process is. Well, that's what it is. So once you launch DOF links, so this is what you're gonna see. So some cool effects, and I want to show you the effects that we're going to get. So we get the back here, we get the dot matrix, which is going to come up in an in a upcoming video. We should have the side strip right here. Those are addressable LEDs. That's it guys. We got some very cool effects now uh, using DOF links. Now this will work in Pinball FX3, Future Pinball. Thank you very much DDH69 and Swiss Lizard for those awesome scripts and add-on to Virtual Pinball. Once we've uh, released the video for uh, the addressable LEDs, we will actually do an additional video for FX3 and show you how to take full advantage of the B2S back glass and the, uh, all the different LEDs. A B2S back glass that was created by DDH69. Um, when you actually press, I don't know if you see, but the lights on the uh, lamppost, uh, they're actually lighting up when you press the uh, shift key or your, your button. So uh, we're just wrapping up. A couple of things. Um, you can always visit our website. Uh, we have a written guide about this. We have even our previous guide. And uh, you can always use that as a reference. If you like what we do, we have a donation button, a PayPal donation button just below. Feel free to tip us. Uh, the more money we get, we're going to be able to purchase all the uh, tables. We're going to be able to do some gameplay and even purchase some additional software and test it out. Also, we have um, recently added on our YouTube channel a feature, which is a premium subscription. Um, not only you're, you're actually supporting us, but you will also get our videos 24 hours ahead of time. Uh, actually, unpublished and unique content behind the scene. And also private chat if you got any questions regarding your build and all that uh, so I can answer to you directly. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.